And what was the last game of the Wild Card Weekend, the Green Bay Packers fell to the San Francisco 49ers 23-20. Um, this game, in my opinion, was one of the more intriguing matchups of this postseason because you had two teams that had played each other fairly frequently in the last two years. The 49ers taking Week 1 in 2012 and this year, 2013, and beating the Packers in the divisional playoff of the year, previous year. But the rematch in Green Bay and... San Francisco came ready. A lot of people picked the Packers because they felt Rodgers is back, and how are the 49ers going to handle the cold weather? 49ers handled it just fine. Kaepernick didn't have a great day throwing, but made enough plays with his arms and his legs to seal the win. 98 yards rushing doesn't hurt. But Green Bay missed on a couple of golden opportunities. That one cornerback at the end of the game, I can't remember his name, he had the chance to step in front and take it right to the house. Dropped the pass in his hands. Niners score in the drive. But this is a very entertaining game. I felt that Green Bay played about as good as they could, all things considered. You know, Rodgers still wasn't 100%, I could tell. Still were hampered on offense. They're shorthanded on defense. They're going up against the San Francisco team that, you know, I think is overmatching them in just about every way, in the trenches, in the skill positions. But they fought, they fought hard and hung tough. Now, all things considered, the 49ers, they could have played better, but I think the cold hampered them. If this game would have been played in a more normal climate, like in the, maybe even as low as the high 30s, or low 30s, I think then still the Green Bay would have San Francisco would have probably played better. Because you've got hmm, how can I put this? You've got a team with Colin Kaepernick, they're going on the road. And, you know, they've been playing well lately. They've only they've won their last six games ever since the loss to the Panthers dropped in the 6-4. And, and they've really, really started to become a, a favorite in the NFC. Like, I'd kind of written them off about three weeks before the playoffs, but I got to list them as a favorite because their quarterback's playing pretty well, again. They're, they can run the ball with anybody. Their offensive line, not a great pass blocking, but a great run blocking scheme. Their skill position players are making some plays. What I don't think has really been seen enough of the fact is this defense is starting to play better again. I mean, Alden Smith and those guys, Ahmad Brooks, Navarre Bowman, Patrick Willis, Justin Smith, Glenn Dorsey, they're getting after people. Because... You know, it's not exactly a given that, I'm not going to put this, it's not exactly a given that the offense is going to go out and be able to score enough points. So what they kind of got to do is, they kind of have to go out there at the realization that, you know, sometimes we got to win this game ourselves. In this game, you look at how well the defense played. Defense played very well. Held Green Bay 18 first downs, 30, 27% on third down, only 157 yards passing on 17 completions. It was just a very, very good performance by this 49er defense. Four sacks doesn't help, including two by Maude Brooks and one and a half by Alden Smith. But for Green Bay, I think that this Green Bay Packer team, if Aaron Rodgers had not been hurt, I think this Green Bay Packer team would have clinched the second seed in the NFC. They were playing that good. Because... Of all the games that they lost down the stretch where they had didn't have Rodgers, I think they'd have won all of them.
because you're talking about a team with, you know, an off a defense that's okay. You get some turnovers, some sacks, and kind of hold down your opponent. But prior to this year, they've been missing a running game, and Eddie Lacy gives them that option that they have not had in previous years. And giving Aaron Rodgers a running game, that thought's kind of scary. If I'm in an NFC North, I'm fearing for my life for the next few seasons. As long as Eddie Lacy and Aaron Rodgers are in Green Bay together, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> you know. Like I said, next year, they'll be back. They'll be in the playoffs again. They'll win the division again. They ain't going to miss the playoffs again. As for San Francisco, they move on to face Carolina. In a rematch... Of the November 12th game, of the November 10th game, in which the 49ers were beaten 10-9 in their own building. I mean, Colin Kaepernick said it himself best, and they owe, we owe them. I mean, you look at the statistics for that game. San Francisco accumulated only 151 yards of offense. 151 yards. Colin Kaepernick had a quote QBR of 7. They really shut down the 49ers. So they're going to have to play a lot better in this second rematch. But Michael Crabtree wasn't playing. And that's Colin Kaepernick's favorite target. You don't think that Colin Kaepernick's excited about going back to play Carolina again? But this time with all his weapons intact? From Carolina, I'm doing some extra film study because we saw it happen in the playoffs last year. When Kaepernick gets hot in the playoffs and he's got Crabtree to go to, pff, say, see ya. Saw it happen in the wild card round. Eight catches of over 120 yards for Crabtree. The best way that you know you can really sum it up, 49ers are playing like a team that can win the Super Bowl right now. That really wasn't something that could be said of them when they were 6-4. Excuse me. What really struck me as odd in this game was the fact that San Francisco didn't put more pressure on Aaron Rodgers. Because if you look at the box score for this game, The 49ers hit Aaron Rodgers six, six times, sacked him four times. I'm kind of surprised they didn't send more blitzes after him because the Packers' offensive line has been very shoddy this whole year. They don't have their starting tackles this year. That's another thing. They're going to have their starting tackles next year, which is scary enough. But think about it. They didn't send more men after. They didn't send more pressure after Aaron Rodgers. I know they usually send Alden Smith along with their four, three down linemen, but. I'm surprised they didn't send any more six any six man rushes because that would have overwhelmed the Packers offensive line. But anyway, San Francisco, they played better, they fought hard, they played they were more physical, they were tougher than Green Bay, they were stronger mentally than Green Bay. That's the reason why they won this game. They won this game because of their metal, and they won this game because they weren't gonna give up on the weather. Weather was bad, they didn't like it, but they didn't quit. And they had a date with the Panthers in Carolina next Sunday. All right, that does it for my wrap-ups. Thursday night, I will be breaking Thursday night or early Friday morning. I'll be breaking down the AFC playoffs. And then Friday night, early to Saturday morning, the NFC playoffs. So stay tuned and listen up. Take care, guys.